Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn volume of solid of revolution using method of disc or washer where the circle is perpendicular to the y axis. For example, find the volume of the solid that is generated when the region enclosed by y equal to set x, y equal to 2 and x equal to 0 is revolved about y axis. y axis is x equal to 0. Let's draw the graph. This is the y axis. This is x axis. y equal to set x is like this. It says the region between y equal to set x, this one, y equal to 2, this is y equal to 2, and x is equal to 0. x equal to 0 is the y axis. So you have many many circle, start from 0, one circle, another circle, and until here, y equal to 2, another circle, many many circle. So, the integration is dy. The area of the circle is pi times radius square. The circle is from 0 until 2. So, y is equal to 0 until 2. You have pi, this one, here. Now, radius square. The radius is this length. The circle, you have the center, this is the y axis. So the radius is from here to here. You have the function here, and the function is you need y because you need to integrate y. So y equal to set x. Now you have to rewrite it to become x equal to y square. You square both sides. So, this length is equal to y square. So, in here, you have y square. What you need to do is to integrate and you will get 32 over 5 pi. Example 2. Find the volume of the solid that is generated when the region enclosed by x equal to y square and y equal to x square is revolved about the y axis. This is your y axis and the x axis. y equal to x square is like this. This is y equal to x square. The other one is x equal to y square. So, x equal to y square, so this one is actually y is equal to set x. So the curve is like this. This is your x equal to y square. Your region is revolved about the y axis. It means that for x equal to y square, you have one circle like this, and then for y equal to x square, you have another circle. You are interested in this region. So the integration is from 0 until here, which we don't know yet. So y equal to 0 to some number pi. Uh, the area of the circle is pi r square, the radius. So, large one minus the small one. So, you have the radius of the large circle square minus the radius of the small circle square dy. The function is y equal to x square. You need to have x equal to what? So from here you get x equal to 
take square root, you have square root y. So the length is square root y here. So the length is square root y. This one is square root y. For the small circle, you need this length. The curve is x equal to y square. You don't have to do anything. You already have y square. So the length is y square. You add y square here. So from here, you will get pi 0 to something y minus y power for dy. How to determine the upper limit? You need to solve these two equations simultaneously. y square is equal to x from this one. x is equal to third y. So y square is equal to third y. We need to get rid of third y. So y square square you get y power 4 equal to y. As usual, don't cancel out 4 and 1 but you need to factor out y. So you have y power 4 minus y equal to 0. Factor out y, you have y cube minus 1 equal to 0. So to get this one become 0, y is equal to 0 or y is equal to 1. This is power 3 odd function, no plus minus. So you already have 0 from here. Now 1 is the upper limit. You solve this, you will get 3 over 10 pi as the volume. Example 3. Find the volume of the solid that is generated when the region bounded by y equal to x square and y equal to x cube is revolved about the line x equal to minus 1. Remember, y exists is x equal to 0. So x equal to minus 1 is parallel to x equal to 0. Let's sketch the graph. This is your y exists. This is your x exists. You have minus 1 and 1. This is your x square. And this is your x cube. You need to revolve this region about this line. x equal to minus 1. So, as usual, you have one small circle like this. You can continue to the other side. And the other one is one large circle. So, the area that you are interested in is this one. Maybe I should finish the circle. Okay, this area. So, the radius is from here, this point, to the line x equal to minus 1. From here to the y axis, the length is 1 because minus 1 here. So, 0 to minus 1, the length is 1. We don't care about the minus sign. The green one, this one, to the y axis, the length is y equal to x square. So, x is equal to set y. And from here, to the large circle, the curve here is x cube, so x is equal to cube root y. So you have cube root y, this line. So your integration is pi from 0 to 1 large circle square minus small circle square dy. The large circle is cube root y plus 1 because the length here is cube root. The, this length is 1. So the whole length is cube root y plus 1. And the small circle is third y 
last one. You integrate from y equal to 0 to 1. 